tonight on Gopher Football with Jerry Kill. Get the latest direct from the head coach. Even when it's ugly, you've got to take advantage of opportunities you get. And we put the spotlight on running back David Cobb. Touchdown! What power for Cobb! Plus, get an exclusive preview of Brick by Brick and all access behind the scenes web series about your Golden Gophers. And Coach Kill prepares you for this weekend with a film breakdown of the Michigan Wolverines. We need to learn to take the side of the helmet off and forget who we're playing sometimes and, and, and understand what we control. It's your weekly look inside Golden Gopher football and it starts right now. Welcome to the latest edition of Gopher Football with Jerry Kill. It's your weekly look inside the Golden Gopher Football Program, and I'm your host, Natalie Nias. On Saturday, Gopher fans had fun packing the stands here at TCF Bank Stadium to celebrate homecoming weekend. It was good to see the return of a couple of injured Gopher players. Philip Nelson recovered from his hamstring injury, and he played the entire game at quarterback. And running back Donnell Kirkwood was back in action for a few plays in the second half. To take us through all of Saturday, Saturday's action, Mike Max joins head coach Jerry Kill in the Hall of Fame room. Thanks very much, Natalie. The head coach Jerry Kill joins us. We'll look ahead to Michigan in a bit, but let's look back to Iowa in the Big Ten opener. You were disappointed for a number of different reasons in the way that that game took shape. Do we have to look back on that? <laughs> <laughs> Just for I, one segment. I, 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 want, I, want, I want to move forward. <laughs> but no, I think that I feel bad for the, you know, we had a great turnout, great fans, and I feel bad the, that we can perform better. We know that, and uh, and I use the word we, uh, from a coaching staff to a players. I think we're disappointed, and and you know as we go back on the film on Sunday, you know uh, you know fundamentally, um, you know we got beat, and uh, you know that's hand placement, feet, first steps, leverage, um, you know all the things that you talk about in football, uh, we got beat in that phase, and uh, they out executed us and. I think that we had some players play good, but we got to have a whole team play. And uh, I don't think it's that they weren't ready to play. They were excited about it. I think we just maybe, um, you know, sometimes you get too excited and you, you don't concentrate and focus on what you need to do. And, and, uh, and then when things don't go your way, sometimes you, you go back to, back to some old habits. So uh, nothing that can't be corrected. And uh, we had good film sessions on Sunday. and. There wasn't a pin, you couldn't hear anybody after the game. There wasn't, there wasn't a word said. You know, yesterday came in, went to the weight room, went to work, and not a much said. So, you know, I, I know they hurt, and uh, I know they want to do well, and uh, I look forward to playing much better. Philip Nelson started at quarterback, played the whole game. How did he play? Because a lot of people thought Leidner would be the quarterback. Well, I, I, don't, I don't think, and again, I'm, I, I can't tell what everybody else wants or anything like that, but, you know, from our standpoint is that, you know, Philip played well when he played, and he got hurt, and he was ready to play. And so, uh, you know, Mitch did a great job when he played. Uh, was it a high, way higher level than Philip? You know, we didn't think so. We felt like Philip was ready to go, and and uh, you know, then we got in a game where it was situated where you wanted to, you know, him being out wanted to get him in a rhythm, and uh, so we didn't, you know, we didn't put Mitch in some like we. We thought we yeah. might. So it, it was just a unique game. And they had a lot of possessions and so forth. And, and uh, sometimes you got to play through some things. But uh, we just didn't execute as well as a team. And, uh, you know, it, uh, it's no different than the head coach when you lose. Uh, you know, people get on the head coach. Yeah. That's part of it. Yeah. And they get on the quarterback. Yes, that's they do. That's part of it. Yeah. And uh, that's part of your responsibility. So I'm okay with that. But I, I think we just, again, as a team and as a quarterback and as a head coach, got to go back to work. and and uh, focus and, and get better. He and Derek Engel had a nice combination, a nice day overall. Uh, we, in your ideal offense, do you spread it around a lot to a lot of receivers? Do you have a go-to receiver? Well, I think that you throw the guy, it's open, you mm -hmm. know, and I think everybody and they better does. catch it. They better catch it. And in his situation, you know, Derek's playing X and he got in some one-on-one -on -one situations. I think our receiving core, uh, to be honest with you, did some good things. And, uh, you know, we missed some balls. You know, Phillip missed some balls that uh, he normally not going to miss. And, uh, but we had some guys open. Uh, we have a chance to have the game 2014. Mm -hmm. Derek beats uh, his corner off press coverage, which he struggled with. And, 
you know, so I thought he really had a good ball game and uh, had the guy beat. We, we score there, you know, we got the win in a different game. So uh, we got, even when it's ugly, you've you got to take advantage of opportunities you get and you can stay in a game. And uh, so, uh, you know, we just got to do a better job executing. What, what is the key? You, you've been doing this a long time. When you, you, you win four games, and that's one thing to come back and teach after you win. It's another thing, and it's almost another mindset early in the week when you, when you have a team that lost. What, what is your theory, or is there a philosophy? Does it depend on how you played as much as anything as to how you motivate that week? I think a lot of it has to do with your team. Each team's you different. you got to read it? you gotta, you got to be careful. If you got a veteran team, uh, you can get after it pretty good. And, you, you know, and with a younger team, uh, you still got to get after it, but you don't want to beat a team down because you never get them back. You know, you, yep. you, you got to go in and say, this is why we didn't win. And so it's pretty easy in this game to go, okay, film doesn't lie. Don't yep. try to make it up. This is why we didn't win. We got to do a better job coaching. And evidently, I didn't put it all on the kids. I said, as coaches, fundamentally, this is what we're teaching to do. But evidently, we had enough repetition at it because we didn't do it. So I, I don't think you just throw it all on the kids. I think we all want to do that sometimes is that, you know, we're, we're the coaches. And it's our job to teach. And if they didn't do it in the game, then evidently we're not doing a good enough job teaching. It's no different than being in a classroom and everybody, if you got everybody flunking a math class, then you're probably not doing what you're supposed to do teaching. So yeah, are you, you teaching got, too, too, trying too, to teach at too, too high a level? Or too high level enough? or too much. Yeah. Too much. So uh, we got to take a look at what we do too. We're accountable. And, uh, but I think the kids are too, and, and, I, and they know that. So uh, the film session is good. And, uh, you know, I think you, you got to have a balance of getting after them, but you also got to have a balance of being a good teacher. All right, more with the coach film session and beyond a little bit later, but let's go back to Natalie. When we return, Mike Max will join Coach Kill in the film room to break down the top gopher plays from Saturday's game. The backer thinks it's run, and we get this backer thinking it's run. Free, his, his responsibility, he's looking in the backfield, as you see, but then his head goes right. He does a good job. And still to come, an exclusive preview of Brick by Brick, an all-access, behind-the-scenes web series about your Golden Gophers.